you don't have security installed it's easy for somebody to jump your wall like this but if you have security then nobody will dare to do so in this video we are going to interview elvis who does security installations for people all over ghana and he's the best when it comes to it coming up next okay so tell us a bit about yourself okay my name is elvis amito i'm the ceo of etmax security system okay okay and then uh, what we do is we are into security systems so you are into security into systems. systems yeah okay. so we install cctv electric fencing gate automation video doorbell and then smart home cctv electric fencing gate automation doorbell smart home smart home yeah okay all right so and then intruder alarm system intruder alarm, alarm system, system. Yeah, wow fantastic yeah. how long have you been doing this seven years now seven years yeah, seven wow years so now. what what gave you that interest to do security systems i mean in the building industry there's so many things you could do yeah why security systems okay so my father is a civil engineer okay uh, so when i was growing i see my father working and all that so my father Hey, my boy, go to security system. He just said really? I, should, I should focus <laughs> on the security system because the building industry is somewhere else, so I should just go to there. Since I studied electronics in school, okay, and this is also more about electronics. Okay, so I studied, I went to school, and then diverted to security system. Okay, yeah. wow. So your dad is a civil engineer, yeah. and then I'm sure you picked up some passion on building yeah, and everything. Yeah, building also. And yeah. then you studied electronics, electronics in Electronics school. engineering. Then electronics engineering. Yes, yes. Okay, then you decided that you want to go full-time into, into this full-time, right? Yeah, security this systems. Part -time job. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, so yeah. how, has, how has it been? How has the journey been so far? Uh, from the beginning, it was rough, but now seven years experience and seven years in this business i think i'm making progress so you're making yeah, progress yeah. so where are you located i'm at adenta pantan junction adenta pantan junction, junction but yeah. i'm sure distance doesn't prevent you from going not traveling to... not at all we okay. even go to borga you go Temale, to borga yeah Temale, wow. borga kumasi Vota wow. region whatever anywhere in ghana so yeah. like borga will be the farthest you've traveled to go work for yeah, yeah 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 we went to Temale okay. from Temale the same client was having a building at borga so we need to go there too wow yeah. amazing yeah. amazing <laughs> so sometimes my audience i have some some people that have interviewed them people call the way from liberia and other countries for them to come and supply them if you are to travel outside ghana will you be able to go and of work? course yeah okay yeah we'll all right do that so also. distance for you no problem it's not a problem yes please. fantastic yeah. so what are the type of security systems that you deal in okay so let's take it one by one okay okay so electric fencing we have the electric fence itself which is the one that you see that with the thin lines okay yes. the wires yeah we have barbed wire or okay. razor wire okay. which is the one that is curled so these are the two types when it comes to electric fencing Okay. that we have so you said the electric fencing we have the barbed wire mm -hmm. right yes there's the barbed wire there yeah, yeah. or the razor the, the razor, razor. Yeah, okay the razor. and then we have the thin wire yeah. like we are seeing you yeah, installing yes, for yes, a client yes. why would somebody choose one over the other the yeah. barbed wire when it's yeah. is there's a call in between yeah. before the outside one yeah. the barbed wire itself has no power the barbed wire has no power no okay. but the call in between that you see is that's what is having the power okay okay so when a thief is able to cut the barbed wire itself you know what's going to happen yeah the, that person can easily jump into the house okay without touching the call in between okay and okay so let's say you have a barbed wire on your gate on your uh, uh, main gate okay and then the barbed wire touches the call in between okay meaning the gate will be electrified wow so, so you you believe that the one you are installing yeah, so is the, a safer yeah, 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 it's a safer option. one yeah okay yeah. okay that's and that's with really this insightful. this comes with alarm this whenever you cut alarm. it okay or one touches each other or when you try to suppress it it will blow alarm okay so yeah. later i'm sure we'll talk about the cost of everything but generally you mentioned that this will cost like thirteen thousand. does it include the alarm as well yes wow everything that's, that's really affordable everything. okay elvis so tell us about what's happening here right now okay so right now we are mounting the electric fence bars okay yeah so this is six lines six so, lines six lines yeah okay. so uh, we are mounting them on the wall so that later we put the wires in between them yeah. okay okay and so for you to be able to get like to know the number of bars to use you would need to first measure the total surface area yes of the wall, yes right? yes we need to measure the square meter of the plot okay and then we know the amount of bars we are going to use okay. and also the amount of cables we are going to pass through the lines the the bars okay yeah. so for this um or let's say if somebody wants to use your services right and they want 100 by 70 normal 100 by 70 plot 
right? Uh, how much is it going to cost on average? Okay. I know the there may be factors that may cause the prices to yeah, be yeah, different, yeah, but yeah. So, give us an average price. So an average price is thirteen thousand Ghana cedis. Thirteen thousand cedis, including the workmanship, everything. everything. Yeah, everything. Oh, then that's that's affordable. Yeah, thirteen thousand Ghana cedis. Oh, okay. People right, charge more, but for me, thirteen thousand will do the job. Fantastic. Yeah. I think thirteen thousand is affordable for security, right? Because yeah. you can't compromise for, yeah. on security. Yeah, yeah. All right. So after you have installed the black bars and connected all the wiring, how do you now connect it? To electricity okay so we we have something we call energizer energizer yeah okay uh, which we run four wires from the energizer energizer to the electric fence okay okay so the energizer take 240 socket the normal ecg volt okay. two for two, two, 240 volt okay. ac volt yeah and then the energizer boost uh, transform it to 1600 volts wow for the electric fence okay yeah yeah Okay, so apart from installing it, it's not like you just connect it to the electricity no, wires. No, 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 no. You no, need no, to no. get the energizer. Yeah, yeah, I need to so pasture the system. 13,000 CDs you mentioned is the energizer part of that course. Everything. Oh, okay, that's cool. The workmanship and everything. Okay, all everything bars, you need, all yeah, the accessories. Our transportation, everything, all oh, the okay. materials, yeah. Okay, so after you have installed it for the client, how is the client going to be turning it on or is it on 24 7 no you can leave it on 24 7. okay but yeah. that would take a lot of electricity not right? really it's just like you're charging your phone it doesn't take a lot of electricity really yeah yeah so we have a panel attached to the energizer whenever you buy the energizer okay so which is a, it's, it's, it's a control pad it's a yeah, control yeah, pad it's a pad yeah so you use your, your code that you want to use to turn it on and off because it's security so okay. you need code a special okay. code for it yeah okay but when we buy it it, it comes with default code that we normally change it but you can leave it like that too if you want to yeah okay all right so that if there's an insider he doesn't turn it off at night for armed robbers to come yeah, inside yeah, yeah, yeah. you can use your own, your, your code, own code to turn it yes, on and yes, off yes, yes, yes. okay that makes yes. a lot of sense and it's you can also sense. set it we, we can install a photo cell for it so that whenever it's in the night and you're not at home it will turn it turns on, on automatically yeah, okay yeah. but i think the next step is you guys should be able to develop some app be that even when i'm anywhere i can just turn it on using the app yeah yeah we'll do that we'll do that <laughs> <laughs> okay now a, a lot of people are concerned about how safe is it especially for kids when it's raining if somebody touches the wall by mistake etc please can you give us some details yes yes yeah, i can give you details with the bar this is meta governance square pipe okay okay so and this is plastic okay and the line the electric fence wire passes through this that's the plastic side yes okay. the plastic side okay so there's no way this one will, have, will get in contact with the bar okay meaning so it means when you install it like this right the wall is not like electric no 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 no. okay so the kids can come and touch the yes, wall and be playing even, and even, the, be... even even the metal gate itself you can touch it whilst this one the, Okay. while the fence is still, is still on oh, okay yeah. safe for the person inside yeah. but for the intruder yeah, yeah, it's not, not safe. safe for you yeah oh, okay 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 so can you what else can you tell us about okay this? so this is uh, the square pipe square governance pipe. square pipe okay. we also have governance flat bar Galvanized square and then governance flat, flat bar. bar yes okay yeah. what's so, the difference which one is better the i'll go i'll go for the flat bar okay okay the flat bar but they are all governance. They are all governance. So, okay. But the flat bar is more durable than the okay. square pipe. Normally, we install the flat bar at the beach side. Okay. Yeah, because okay. that one we can withstand the the salt yes, and the yes, corrosion yes. and but all. But the that. flat bar, the the square pipe is also good. Okay. So if I install this, how long will it last before I need to change it or have some servicing done? You don't need to change this for the rest of my life. You don't need to change for the next five hundred years. This I'll be is alive. governance, unless. Maybe so it won't uh, last. No, yeah, yeah, mean. yeah. It will, and this one to have been sprayed with black paint. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So at what stage in the building process would somebody need to come and call you to come and fix all the security systems? Okay, so uh, the time we are supposed to come to site is when you are about to plaster the wall. Before you plaster the wall. Yes, okay. before you plaster the wall, so that we can chisel the wall and run all the necessary pipes in it before you plaster. Okay. Otherwise, after you plaster, we will come and we have to chisel the wall again, which okay. is going to be another double job. Okay. So yeah. ideally, the best time, once you are building, you do your block work, 
you can they can call you to come and do it after you roof after they've roofed so it. so when the electricians are on board working okay. we can also come around and okay come so in. you come when the electricians Just, are on board yes, working yes yes because yes. they must have done the wiring at yes least. yes yes so that's when okay. we run the cctv cables okay the video doorbell the okay. electric fence cable okay and then the gate automation cable okay yeah. and okay. also smart home smart home too we need to run the pipes in the in the flow Okay. Just like electricals, yeah. Okay. Okay, so tell us about the other type of security systems that you have. Okay, so with the CCTV, we have analog and IP. Analog and IP. And okay. IP, yeah. So with the analog, you have to connect the camera to a DVR. Okay. Digital video recorder. Digital video, video recorder. recorder. That is okay. what keeps the footage of whatever that is being recorded. So okay. yeah. And the IP is the same as the, the analog, analog, but okay. that one can work on its own without connecting it to NVR, network okay. video recorder. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the two difference. Okay. But with all of them I can go to like a control room and then see what is happening. Yes. Like yes. I can see it on either my TV or monitor or my phone right yes 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 okay so i'm sure people will be asking which type should i go for etc and how much would it cost me cctv itself sometimes becomes expensive depending on the amount of cameras you want okay and then the cable like the plus size sometimes you need to you want to run cable to the main entrance and all that which okay. is going to take a lot of cable based on that we'll, we'll, we'll get estimates for you okay yeah. so if I understand you, you are saying that depending on the plot size, so some people, they might want cameras on their walls, different, different places, yeah. and maybe their house is also big. So the cost is mainly dependent on the number of cameras, cameras you want, and, the and then the cables, yes. which is also like a factor of how big the plot is, yes. and how long you need to run, run the, the cables, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, understood, yeah. understood. But on average, let's say I have a two-bedroom house on a half plot of land. Give me an average. Okay, let's say four cameras. Yeah, four, four cameras. Four cameras to cover the 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 four corners. The of four the building, corners. Okay. Of the building. That one can go for like six thousand cities. So 6, four 000, cameras will go for six thousand cities. Okay, so I want to do the wiring, the electrical fencing, and then I want to do four cameras. So right now we are sitting at about close to 20,000, right? Yes, let's say 20,000. Okay. Yes. All right, so what else can you tell us about the security systems that you have available? Okay, so we have gate automation. Gate automation, automation yeah, okay. gate automation. Yeah, so for that one, we have two types. We have D10 and D5. D10 and, and D5. D5. Yes. Please explain what the two mean. Okay, so the D5, it's normally for household gates, not too heavy gates. Okay. Something like, something like, two twenty kg. Twenty kg. Yeah. Okay. That's the weight. Okay. Yeah. But the D ten is for industrial gates, big okay. big gates. Okay. Yeah. So most people who are watching, who are just building their homes or are into apartments and real estate projects, are going to use D five, right? Yeah, D five. Okay. D five. Yeah. Okay. So tell us. How much it will cost to automate a D5 type of gate? Okay, so a D5 D5 is going for 8,500 cities. 8,500 cities. 500 cities. So what what is the benefits of like having gate automation? Okay, benefit of having gate automation is let's say you are coming from back town. from yeah, yeah coming from work. from work. There is nobody at home to open the gate for you, and okay. you also don't want to get down and then you go and just okay. use the remote, just automate it then okay. to open. That's the benefit of it. So how would the gate open? You just press the remote and okay. then it will open. Oh, so there's a remote. It's yeah, not like there's yeah, an yeah, app yeah, on your phone no, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a remote. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you need to keep it in your car at all times. Yes. Okay. So when you press it, how long does it take to open? In case somebody is after you and all that. As soon as you press it, it doesn't delay. It just open. But how far away do you need to be from the house for the gate automation to start working out because i'm sure it uses maybe bluetooth yeah or yeah whatever. yeah yeah you can be away for like 10 meters and then it's still, it still it will still work okay so yeah. like a 10 meter distance yes it will still work okay so by work. by the time i get to the gate, gate then it will have it will be open. open yeah it will be open okay so and when i pass through do i need to press it to close yeah or? we can set it for you to close it yourself or okay. we, we set a time for it when even as soon as you enter then the gate will close itself oh okay yes. okay there's an app you download and then you be controlling with your phone. Oh, so there's an app. Yes. For me, I like apps. Okay, so you've spoken about the gate automation. What other security systems do you have? Okay, what I'm about to talk about is not, it's not really security. Okay. But it's also part of it's our... It's a service way. that you yeah, offer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, smart home. Smart home. Smart home. Okay. Automated curtains. Okay. Uh, automated curtains, uh, light, 
and then speakers. Automated curtains, curtains. lights, and speakers. Speakers, speakers okay. in the ceiling and all that. Okay, yeah. amazing. Okay, so a common thing that people say is that actually security systems and this camera and this gate automation, they actually, for the people who have made it in life, or the politicians and things like that, how true is that? Which kind of people need security systems for their homes? That is not true. And everybody needs security. Okay. Whether you are at home, anywhere you are, you need security. At work, anywhere, you need okay. security. Whether okay. CCTV, electric fencing, you need anything in the form of security to protect you okay. wherever you are. Because anything can happen. There is crime everywhere in this world. You, you made a really good point because all this time we've been talking about the security, I've just been thinking about the homes, but you said offices as well. Yes, offices. So if people want uh, building the offices and things, they can still contact you. Yes, of course. Okay, yeah, okay, fantastic. Yeah. So you yourself, do you use security systems? Yeah, in yeah, your yeah, home? I have security systems. Tell I me about electric, it. I have electric for CCTV. Wow. Yeah, and get automation. Okay, yeah. so has any of your customers um, shared any testimony or experience with you about how your security system maybe help them catch a burglar, a thief, or an armed robber, or prevented a, pos a potential crime? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think last two years, I installed CCTV at a pharmacy. Okay. Where this guy, one of a, a guy just came there and then he was recorded. Okay. He didn't know. So later he came back again and then he was He came caught. there to try and steal uh, or he stole? He stole what he, whatever he needed, okay. like he, he okay. wanted to take, yeah. Okay. So uh, another day he came again, he was trying, he thought they didn't get the uh, video, so he came again and then he wanted to take another step and then he was caught. caught, yeah. Okay, so from what you are saying, it looks like the security is in two types. There's one which is actively trying to prevent people from, from coming to yes. steal, which is like the fence, fence yeah, you know, the electrical yeah, fence yeah, and yeah. all that. And then there's the one that if you've even done the crime, we can provide footage and everything like yes, the CCTV yes, yes, cameras. Yes, yeah. It's also helped the police to do their the investigation. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so what are some of the tips for maintaining security systems and do you provide like after sales support? Yeah, we do we do provide after sales service. Okay. One of the most important thing that people need to take in like to keep in mind is whenever you have electric fence, you should be very sure that there is no weed growing weed okay. yeah, or any tree branches or whatever. You okay. should keep an eye an eye on it so that any time it it wants to get closer to the fence, you cut it off. Okay. Otherwise, we have to come back and come and redo. Okay, so can anybody at all do installation of security systems? Like, can a carpenter or an electrician? I'm asking because some people might say maybe they've bought their cameras and things already. Maybe they were coming from US, they were coming from Canada, they were coming from Germany, or even China, right? And they bought it and they want somebody to install it for them. Can anybody at all do it? Or you need a qualified person like yourself to do it? Okay, so uh, when you buy your uh, your CCTV, your, like, your cameras from outside the country, and bring, anywhere, you, whether you buy it in Ghana here, we can install it for you. Okay. Yeah, we can install it for you. But if you've already run the cables in the wall, Okay. You see, I, 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 I mentioned that we have analog and yeah. IP. You need to contact me so that I'll show you the type of camera you need to buy. Maybe okay. we've used uh, analog cables. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So, so that you don't go and buy any okay. other camera. The type of camera you buy goes with the type of cable. Type of cable, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, makes a lot of sense. yeah, so you need an expert to install the cameras for you. Okay. Not an electrician and all that. Not just the cameras, but the fence as well. Yes, the fence as well. You need okay. experts. And running the cabling you and all need those things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my next question for you is how profitable is this business? Okay, I've been in this business for seven years. Yes, now yeah. and this February I'll, I'll be eight years. Wow! Okay, Congratulations. so <laughs> thank you. So um, that's what I've used to support my family and all that. So I think it's profitable. I think yeah. it's profitable. Yeah. Okay. How has the dollar rate affected your business in general? Okay, so the dollar has really, really affected our business because we import most of our goods from outside the country. Electric fence styles like this, we import it from South Africa. Okay. The CCTV too from uh, UK and all that. So it has really affected us. The import duties and all that. Mm. Yeah, so it has really affected us. Yeah, so uh, that's one of our challenges that we go through. Yeah. Okay. So now if somebody also wants to learn, right, do you have like space for apprenticeship and things like that, national service personnel, interns and all that? Yeah, we do, we okay. do, yeah, we do. For apprenticeship, we do. Yeah. Okay. So they can they can contact you. Yeah, they can contact okay. me. Yeah. All so right, with that, I think that's going to create a lot of jobs and all that. Twice in a year, we need to come and then come and clean the lens of the. Okay. Of so the twice camera. in a year, you yeah. need to go and then clean, clean the, the lens, lens for yeah, the CCTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Or if you are living in a dusty area, maybe a site like this where yeah. we are now, then we have to be coming in like three months, three months. In it. Okay. Yeah. So if you live in a dusty area, which 90% of Accra is, yeah. then three months come and then yeah, clean, clean the lens the, and the then lens check, of the cameras. check whatever is wrong there, and then we okay. replace it. Yeah. Okay. So regular maintenance is very important. Otherwise, the security, You've thrown your yeah, whole yeah, investment yeah. The security away. So regular like, maintenance is regular really important. Regular maintenance is very, very important. People okay. don't really do that, but... Yeah, our maintenance it, culture in Ghana is terrible, It's very actually. poor, yeah. yeah. So we need to come time to time, and then if there's anything bothering you, you call us, we'll come and come and check for you. Okay. And also, if you already have a CCTV, electric fence, and everything, we can still maintain it for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, you mentioned that once you install these things, they are for life. Yeah, you they don't are for need life. to be no, replacing no, 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 it every no. 10 years, every 20 years. You see, years. for the CCTV and electric fencing, if it's not power, you see something like yeah. Ghana, our yeah. power is that anything will blow, then you are good to go. Oh, okay. There's nothing going to, yeah. Okay. All right, so now we want to ask you like general questions about your building experience in Ghana. Since you said you, you are, you've built a house and you're using an electric house, what was the experience like building, acquiring your land and all that? Okay, acquiring my land was very difficult for me. And then <laughs> I remember I was building and then I got to footing level, so the, 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 the substructure. Okay. And then someone just came to the side that the land belongs to him. Land belongs to him. Yeah. Those people they always wait for it to start. <laughs> the <laughs> land belongs to him. So we went to see the chief and all that, not knowing the chief sold it to somebody else, and then somebody also came to sell oh, it for man. me. So Crazy. They have to change the land for me and then compensate me and all that. So that was the struggle I went through when I was building. Apart from that, I didn't I didn't hustle in the labor and all that. My labor I got cheap. I got it cheap. Okay. Yeah. So what are the tips you have? Because you are an enterprising young man, right? Yeah. Who has done so well for himself. What are some of the tips you can give to Ghanaian youth, Nigerian youth, African youth watching this video who want to build? Because people think that, Charlie, the way the prices of building materials are going high there now, nobody can build again. Okay. What, what are the tips, advice uh, you what, can share? First of all, what I'll say is people normally say that there's no work in Ghana. Yeah, but I see that there's a lot of work in Ghana. There's a lot of work a in Ghana. A lot. Okay. A lot. You can involve yourself in anything at all. Okay. Don't be restrict, like, restricted to one side. Or the okay. Way. You can involve yourself in different, different types of things. And then you make it. You yeah. make it. You make it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's a lot of information right there to digest so okay guys so there you have it if you want to have your security systems installed whether it is electric fencing gate automation cctv cameras and more then elvis from etmark is the very best person in ghana anywhere for you to contact and you know he'll come and sort you out right his details are in the description below, phone number, social media pages, make sure to call him, follow him and tell him you are coming from Africa Building Hub YouTube channel and I'm sure he will give you a very good discount, right? Yeah, Always. for sure, I'll give you a discount. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll probably do a follow-up video to answer all those questions. Thanks, Bibri.